Did you, you know? ever host SNL? I never did. We, I never thought that I was able to. When I was asked, I said no. Why? Because I really was not ready. Come on. I could do it now, but I couldn't do it then. Why? Be, I just, I didn't believe in myself enough to stand toe to toe with all of those extraordinarily funny people. When was this? Was this the Belushi this was in, yes, and all that? Yes, right. Absolutely. That was it. Yeah. Really? Couldn't do it. Now, Belushi and, uh, and Aykroyd came to the 200th uh, filming party mm -hmm. of Happy Days, and we had our picture taken, and we got to sit down with them. And What was that like? It was lovely. They, I mean, we, we, you know, when I heard Bill Hader, all I thought about was I watch Bill Hader every week on Saturday Night Live. Sure, right. You know, I mean, the, the people we used to call uh, Martin Short, and Billy Crystal. Yes. Uh, after every show, um, because the, the, just because we enjoyed it so much. What do you mean? Used to call. Him? We used to call him up and say, "Wow, what a great Saturday Night Live." At then they they pick up the phone yeah. at one in the morning or something. At, like well, that? or either that, right, or I'd leave time. a message. Right. And never hear back. But <laughs> oh uh, I did. I didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> but wow. Okay. So the two. Let me just go back to that. Henry Winkler here on the Rich Eisen Show. Two hundred episode of happy days yes and there was a party where on the set yes, right. here in los angeles no or? uh it was, where was it, it was it, on a sound stage i believe yes but not necessarily on the set okay and they had a cake and uh you know there was uh, a jukebox involved there's always a jukebox when i'm fonz like <laughs> you know and and anybody can i just say to the family audience yes, that's sir. watching it mm -hmm. uh any one of you has the power to hit a jukebox and start it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. As long as there is a man named Fred on the other side of the wall who plugs it in at the moment <laughs> you strike the glass. <laughs> it just goes on and people think, wow, he is cool. So is the Fonz and Fred that put the, the power? It was in, Fred. In the Fred gave me the power. And it was an actual plug? It, it was an actual plug. We act he actually <laughs> turned the sucker on. The greatest moment? Yes. I'm in an alley with Ron Howard mm -hmm. uh, playing Richie, and all of the lights in an apartment building are off. Yes. <laughs> I hit the side of the building, and the entire building lit up. <laughs> that is power. <laughs> wow. Was, did Fred have something to do with that, too? Or that was I'm just... not sure. Okay. I don't know. That, that could have been Ronald who was in charge. <laughs> Of um, a, another kind of lever. Another lever. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, boy, that was my, one of my favorite things. That and sitting up mm -hmm. in the forest with all of the chatter of the animals. Yes. And I couldn't sleep. And I just sat up. Mm -hmm. And I was very proud of myself because I had muscle at that time. I had a six-pack. Yes. And I could just sit up from a sitting position, a lying position. Cool. And every animal went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> there was not a raccoon chattering after that. <laughs> it was great. Oh, my gosh. The six-pack to help you get up. Oh, I loved it. I was so proud. And I had to do it twice. I could just, wow. Just, shh. <laughs> Come on. I thought that was cool it. something. That's as athletic as I got. That's it? That was it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I played softball. Mm. You know, Gary Marshall thought if we played together, uh, we stayed together. We were a stronger yes. uh, unit on the soundstage. Okay. And so we traveled all over the world playing softball. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What was your position? I you pitched. I, ca I couldn't catch very well. Mm -hmm. I couldn't bat very well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I knew if there was a pop-up, I just left the mound <laughs> and Freddie Flox uh, one of our writers yes. came running out yes. from second base and caught the ball. If it was hit toward me, yes. I just turned my body, and I was black and blue for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> but I stopped the ball. So who had cleanup? T did Tom Bosley hit cleanup? Ron. I think Ron did. Ron did. Or, or, or Donnie Most. Donnie. I mean, they were really good athletes. Really? Ronnie could play every sport. Is that right? Yeah. I he was great at basketball. He he was just an athlete. I didn't know that. Yeah, you would so, not know that with those ears. Did you <laughs>
Did you play like other TV shows or anything like that? We did. Or? We played. Uh, we played a- a- agencies. You know. Okay. Sure. Uh, agents. Yeah. Uh, agencies. Yes. Uh, we played uh, um, the agents. Uh, from uh, CAA. Okay. We played other uh, TV shows. That's what I'm Absolutely. saying. Absolutely. Rhino Records we played. Okay. Oh, yeah. Every Sunday at uh, Hazeltine Park in the Valley. I'm going to take a shot at this one. Henry Winkler, did you ever be, were you ever in the Battle of the Network Stars? Never. Did you ever, never did no, that? No, I never did that. Why not? Just that, I, it just it didn't it was, seem to be a winning <laughs> proposal. I don't, you know, I, I it would have been nice to see some of those young ladies in shorts, but uh, I, I, it just seemed like I, I... Understood. I get it. I had to be on a team that won or get out of understood. here. Understood. Howard Cosell opining about the uh, the running style of Adrian Barbeau. That was not... Uh, no. That was not... The, that was fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you would have to say, uh, uh, oh, Howard, what, what kind of problem do you have? <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.